So there's this notion that in order to have true freedom, you got to quit your nine to five. And not only that, you should probably start a business too. Like this magical thing happens for some reason when you quit your nine to five and you start a business that all of a sudden all the freedom you need and want is unlocked. Time, money, happiness, creativity, it all just comes to you naturally. See, I used to believe this too. I'm not really so sure anymore. See, about four years ago, I lost my job for no other reason other than the company just sold. Kind of a good thing, but for me, it just meant that they didn't have a position for me anymore. And I got tired of someone else being able to dictate my future. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna start my own thing and become a sales consultant. And luck would have it, during this time, there's this app called Clubhouse. It was really, really popular at the time. And the best way to get clients at the time was you'd open up these rooms, these audio rooms, and people would pour in and ask questions. And there was one question that would come up a lot, which was, should I quit my nine to five and go all in on this business idea? What do you think my answer was? Absolutely, go all in. If you don't have a safety net, that's an even better because you will make sure that you are successful. You have to make it right. And I believed in that fully. If I'm being honest though, part of the reason I believed in it so much was because look, I, as a business coach, now just possibly gained a client. If they go all in, they hire a business coach like me, guess what? I just got a new client. Not proud of it, but if we're being honest, that was the main reason. Now we fast forward four years later, do I still believe the same thing? No. And it's actually because of this one framework, this way of thinking that it actually comes from Dan Sullivan, Dr. Benjamin Hardy from this book called 10 X Easier Than 2X. Now, the freedom from versus freedom to. The framework is really important that we dive into in a second. But first, do you realize that only 20% of people, according to this study, this random study I found on Google, only 20% say that they're actually passionate about what they do. Only 20%. There are millions upon millions, or if not probably billions, I'm not really good at math, have jobs today and they hate them. And what's interesting, instead of quitting our nine to fives, maybe the answer is simply just to find one that we enjoy, one that we're passionate about. And I think that would eliminate a lot of the need for wanting to quit. We'll come back to this in a second, but let's go back into the freedom from versus the freedom to. So let's take working out for example. So there's two reasons why people work out according to this framework, the freedom from. Freedom from would say that I'm working out because I'm trying to have the freedom from things like obesity, things like diabetes and heart disease and all that. I'm trying to escape something by lifting this weight over and over again and breathing hard, even though I don't like it. On the flip side though, you have the freedom to. Working out gives me the freedom to play with my son, go to the park and not get super exhausted. Working out gives me the freedom to have more energy for the work and the the things I enjoy to do, it gives me the freedom to go on summer vacation, take my shirt off without feeling embarrassed. You see, the difference is one gives you power. You take responsibility at that point and it gives you the power to make better decisions. So what I'm trying to say is that most people, because they're not passionate about their job, remember back to what I said earlier, only 20% of people are actually passionate about what they do. Maybe they're trying to escape something. We all are trying to have the freedom from something which if we go back to my prior example, the reason why I even got started in the first place was because I wanted to escape. I wanted the freedom from having someone deciding whether or not I, ha I get to keep my job or not. I didn't start my business because I wanted the freedom to be creative in what I do or to help people. It was actually just because I wanted the freedom from po poverty. Poverty? Why is that word so hard to say? I wanted the freedom from someone else dictating whether or not I get to keep my job or not. What I didn't realize I was doing, I was enabling people to have this escapism, right? I was enabling the fact that, look, if you're not happy with your job right now, if you're not passionate about what it is that you're doing, it's either you need to find what it is that you're passionate about, or maybe, and this is the hard truth, maybe you just suck. Maybe you're just not actually that good at your job and that's why you hate it so much. So maybe you need to spend the time to discover how to get better at it is what you do. Because what I have found is that if we're having the freedom from mentality, we're escaping something that follows you. The bad habits you developed at work is gonna carry along with you when you go into starting a business. And by the way, it gets harder because you don't have anyone else to blame but yourself. So it begs the question, if we truly want freedom, should we quit our nine to fives? Maybe not, maybe we try something else. All right, you remember when I told you about four years ago is when I went all in on my business. About a year ago is when it actually finally really sunk in this concept, freedom from, freedom to. And that was because my business hit $300,000 in revenue. And I thought once we hit this multiple six-figure benchmark, 
that finally the freedom I was searching for would magically present itself to me. But the opposite actually happened. You see, I didn't have any time for the stuff that I actually really wanted to work on. I spent most of my time managing the team of six. I spent most of my time working with clients I didn't really care to work for, work with anymore. And I didn't really have freedom. And that's when I realized that the whole reason I started this thing in the first place was because I wanted freedom from something instead of freedom to do something. So not too long ago, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna scale back the business and I'm gonna only work on things I wanna work on. And I'm gonna go back to a nine to five job, not just any nine to five job though. I had to find something that I was passionate about. And that's when I realized the CRM company that I use actually for my business had an opening. That's when everything started to click. You see, the nine to five job, it gave me the freedom to still work with entrepreneurs and work with many more entrepreneurs than I ever could on my own. It gave me the freedom to work on things like automation and marketing and all the things that I love. But at the same time, it allowed me to still keep my now side hustle alive and well and only focus on the things that I wanted to do. So now my business wasn't something that I had to do anymore. I didn't have to have a huge team anymore. I didn't have to do anything like that. I only used it as a creative outlet. I could still make content. I got the freedom to earn more money so I can take my family on vacations, buy cars, do all the things that I still wanna be able to do that maybe just only having the nine to five job will not allow me to do. So this all circles back to the one question. Should we quit our nine to fives in order to find freedom? For me, it turns out the answer was no. It turns out the nine to five gave me the freedom to still have my business and do the things that I wanted to do. It gave me the freedom to do a lot of things that I couldn't necessarily do on my own. And so maybe the answer isn't quitting our nine to fives. Maybe the answer is simply find a nine to five that you actually want to be at. But at the end of the day, what do I know? I have no idea. This is just what worked for me. So go in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this concept. The, the concept of freedom to versus freedom from. Should we all just quit our nine to fives and go all in, all in on our online businesses? Or should we take this more, I don't know, balanced approach where we work jobs we actually like and have hobbies and side hustles that keep continue to feed our creativity, feed our need to constantly do something maybe a little bit more? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And hey, if you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. Appreciate you checking it out. In the description below, I created this thing called the Creator Hub. Uh, it's a way for me to track all of my ideas and helping me go from ideation all the way to actually publishing, something similar to this. I used it actually to go ahead and make this video. If you want your own copy of it, go in the description below, click the link, and go grab yourself the copy. And as always, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next video.